Hello and good afternoon, CTS 267, Section 840 students for the Spring 2017 semester at Anne Arundel Community College. This is the CCMP T-Shoot course, and this video tutorial is going to be sort of a one-off video tutorial. Uh, I actually had this question come up. Uh, a colleague of mine had contacted me and not very familiar with Cisco uh, switches and wanted to know uh, how he could... Uh, make a change on multiple ports at a at a single time, and so it led to a conversation of defining interface macros, right? So this video tutorial is going to be on interface macros, uh, and there is a little setup at the front end, but on the back end you can jump into predefined ranges of interfaces. Uh, in again, if this is if it works for your use case, so let's go ahead and dive in. So. During the phone call, he said, yeah, I've got a 48-port a switch, and I want to uh, take off. Apparently, they had, uh, I can't remember what it was. I think it was IP inspect commands from the old um, CBAC type stuff. They had something on the, on the ports he wanted to take off. And so you can see here, I've got a 24-port uh, a switch with two gig ports uh, on the far right-hand side of the switch. But the question was, well, how do I say, you know, uh, shut down. How do I shut down all the ports without having to go into each interface? Well, you know, this is sort of a CCNA level task, very straightforward. You would say, whoops, sorry, not IP, interface range FA101-24, comma, gigabit 101-2, and that puts us into the interface range. So when I say shut, that's going to shut down every port on this switch and you can see it's going to go ahead and give us a uh, syslog message message uh, with again we've got the the facility line protocol the severity and then a mnemonic here telling us that it's either the port went up or down in this case we know that it went down so if I were to say do show IP interface brief you can see that everything is administratively shut down now that's super convenient but remember every time I come in, if there was something that I wanted to apply, uh, you know, or a change I wanted to make to all the ports, I would have to type this command every single time. And again, not too difficult to do, uh, but what if you only wanted to do the odd ports, or what if you only wanted to do the even ports, uh, or maybe just a discontiguous block of ports, right? Like let's say, you know, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, that, that sort of becomes a little more difficult to do. And I encouraged him to go ahead uh, and create a macro. And so let's go ahead and set up a macro and we'll do, and I'm not going to do all 24 ports, I'll, I'll show you and then you can extrapolate and build off what we work on here. So basically if I were to say define interface range and again, it's it's interface range, and then it's saying that we're going to put in the interface range. And so you can see here uh, the word macro definition. So let's just call this odd, right? And so this is going to be all of the odd ports on the switch. So I would say FA101, comma, and I think we actually need to put it out like that. FA103, comma, FA105, comma, FA... 107 and I'll stop right there but you get the idea if you wanted to cover the entire range then for whatever the switch model is that you have and the number of ports that you have you would put that in there and so I have just defined a macro and the name of the macro is odd so real quickly could we not simply pull up this last command and even if you had defined you know a huge range of switches and that would be six this is going to be plus one four, and this is going to be two, and so this would be even, right? So now we've got two macros defined. If I were to say do show run include uh, define, we'll see those macros will pop up here in the running config, right? So these are going to be saved to the running config. And then the next question, uh, or I should say the next example I'll show you, which again, very simple and this is where it's kind of like okay well does it make more sense to define this macro or am I going to be able to just quickly hop in here and type in that initial interface range command that had all of the ports so again if I were to say define whoops define interface range 
I would simply say all. So I've got the odd ports, I've got the even ports, and now I'm going to do all ports. So we would say FA101, comma FA102, you get the idea, right? And then 103 and all the way to the gigabit. So let's do that. Let's throw in gigabit 101 and gigabit 102, right? And so that's going to round out the range. Uh, again, kind of simulating we're doing all ports there. Now, a more I don't want to say more common, but maybe a more useful macro would be if you've got your switches maybe fully populated, and let's say that you've got, uh, you know, you've got HR on there, and they've got their VLAN, and let's say that for whatever reason, you've got HR in an odd number of, or I shouldn't say odd number, but in a, um, a discontiguous block of ports. So I would say define, we're going to say interface range, and I'll just call it HR. And let's say for whatever reason, HR's got FA101. They've got FA109, maybe FA102, and let's say gig101, right? So those are the ports that HR is plugged into. So maybe if you were to go in and make a sweeping change to the HR ports, like maybe shut all the ports down, uh, maybe add something to the ports. So again, do show run, include define. So here's what we look like right now. I've defined four macros, right? And it's great. You can define multiple macros, odd, so all odd ports, all even ports, every port on the switch. And then, I'm let's say the use case is that, hey, HR is in specific ports and you want to group those together and maybe you've got engineering and another group of ports. And so this works out super, super nice, right? Very convenient. Again, a little upfront leg work. You're going to have to type in that fast Ethernet 101 and add all these things in. But once you get it in, it's a lot quicker to say interface range, and then this is where you say macro. So interface range macro even. I'm now in all of the even ports that I listed. So two, four, six, and 8. And there you go. Take a look at that. So I've changed interface 2, 4, 6, and 8. So if I were to say interface range, macro, odd, jump into the odd ports and say no shut. So we should be bringing up 1, 3, 5, and 7. And there they are, right? There's 1, 3, 5, and 7. So what if it's just uh, HR that I wanted to deal with? So I would say interface, range, macro, HR, and let's say we want to shut the HR ports down. So, and I think only a couple of these are not currently shut down. In fact, it looks like only. So then let's do this. Let's say no shut. We want to bring those HR ports back up because I'd like to have it capture all the ports here. And there we go. 1-1, one, 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 nine, one, giga 1, right? So, again, super short video, but very useful way to define interface macros uh, that you can use with the interface range command to make things uh, a little quicker for yourself. So here we go, do show run, include define, and here are the macros that we had laid out. So hopefully you're going to be able to take this, incorporate it into a use case that makes sense for you, you know, on your multi-layer switch or on your layer 2 switch, uh, and you can have some fun with this. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys on Thursday night.